What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Stephanie Marie, and welcome. Don't forget to subscribe down below with the notification bell so you guys know when I upload next. And today is day five of my All Hallows week. I will be creating. fun with this it was much more simpler and have to stick anything on my face it was just more about the vibrant colors and my hair did have to change I kind of decided to go with my natural hair and just add the dye and the color to it and see how it went and I think it turned out pretty cool and pretty nice but let's get right into day five Alright guys, starting out with a nice clean face, I'm going straight into that water-based face paint. This is the same one I used for the IT tutorial, my first tutorial that I came out with. I'm really just covering up my face, nothing specific. I am going to do my neck as well because Beetlejuice does have a nice little suit that has a really deep V. At least for my look. Now moving on to the eye, I am using my Jaclyn Hill palette, of course, and this is color Soda Pop is the name of the color. I am just using this right on my eye, the lid, nothing too high because you do want it to be the darkest um, closer to your actual eyeball. Then I'm going to go in with that bright purple color that I've been using for my other videos. And this one is called Royalty. Now I'm going to go really high on the corner, the inner corner of my eye and my outer corner of my eye. But I'm going to leave a nice space between my eyebrow and this color right at the above where that arch hits it. And I'm just going to try to blend it out nice as much as I can up top. When you do the bottom of your eye, you do want to bring it down pretty low. As you can see, I'm kind of towards like the middle of my nose and just kind of wing it out and spread it out as much as you can. I have a really light purple going on at the bottom, but that's not because I added a different color. It's just because I really blended it all in. Now, after I'm done with that, I am going to hit the corner of my eyes with a ColourPop glitter. It's called Sailor. Um, it's really, really pretty. It's really, really bright. And I'm also going to hit the top of my eye right where my eyelid and eyebrows meet with my highlighter from Becca Moonstone. Now after I'm done doing that I did color my eyebrows just a little bit nothing too crazy nothing too major. Now I'm going in with this color. Now this is a palette that I got from Amazon which is a professional paint um, kit and I mixed a green and a white together and I got this really this really vibrant green, which is kind of the same thing I did with my um, Dark Mystic Sorcerer with the purple, but I did it with the green and I got this color. I am going to also mix the green with the yellow that I have, and it's going to create this lime green color, which makes everything pop out and make everything look so freaking good, guys. Now, this is a dark green eyeshadow that the Jaclyn Hill palette brings. It's called Diva. I'm going in just closer to my hairline. I am going to dye my hair. But for now, I really wanted just to make that dimension from my hair and my skin. Also, obviously, the contouring. I am still using that dark green diva color from the Jaclyn Hill. And you just kind of want to emphasize a lot. I kind of just went everywhere and just put it where I thought it would look cool. Guys, this look was so much fun to create. I kind of just went crazy and didn't really think about being neat or anything. I was honestly just straight up messy because that's what Beetlejuice is. He's crazy. He's different. He's straight up just crazy. Now on this part, I'm just doing the exact same that I did on my forehead. I'm just emphasizing my collarbones. You guys can have so much fun with this. Honestly, just put the green where you think would go. It's not a specific spot that I put it on. I just really wanted to emphasize my collarbones. But do something different. Show it to me. Comment down below what you guys want to see maybe next year. I do want to create this week again next year, but I don't know. Let's not get carried away. Let's finish this week and let's have some fun. Now this is just me emphasizing the collarbones even more by putting dark areas um, darker. So what areas would normally be dark on your body? I'm just emphasizing it and putting it darker now since they're all white. And that just brings it all out, makes me look so much skinnier, so much creepier. And obviously contouring my nose. I honestly didn't need to contour my nose in this video, but 
I started doing it and I liked the way it came out, so I just continued. I'm adding now that green that I told you guys about, blending the yellow and the green together. I'm getting this bright, vibrant, limey color, which I was absolutely loving. It literally brings everything out. And honestly, this green matches more with Beetlejuice than the one I had previously. So I'm glad I figured it out and I combined those two colors to get this color. So I'm just putting it in random places, creating my own look, my own little Beetlejuice. I was really just playing with everything to see where I really liked it. I'm adding on some dark colors, kind of looking like bruisey, but not really on the dark. On just, I was really aiming to be heavy on one side, as you guys can tell. So my left side was so much heavier than my right. No specific reason, again, it's just the way I wanted it to be. I am putting some highlighter on my lip just to stand that out in that moment. There are some parts that I think would be cool to have some highlighter. That's why I did that, because I am a miss. Beetlejuice. So I'm just going to keep highlighting like crazy. Guys, I want you guys to tell me how your day has been. Uh, tell me where are you guys going to be for Halloween tomorrow. I really want to know. I don't know what I'm going to be. I have so many different looks. I just don't know. But just make sure to highlight all the high points like your collarbone, your cheekbones, and your nose. Moving on to the really fun part, I'm going to make my hair white using this stage paint. It's made for hair and it washes off very, very easy. I really recommend it because it could change a whole look and you don't even have to put a wig on. You can literally just use your hair and wash it right out. I am using the same paint that I used on my face on my hair. Is this safe? I don't know, but if it's good for my face, it should be good for my hair. Ah, so this look is basically done. I'm going to put black liner, mascara, eyelashes, and my contacts and obviously get dressed and show you guys my final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I had so much fun. I look so crazy. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Happy All Hallows Week Day 5. I'll see you guys tomorrow.